Today I'm going to do a video on a septic system alarm that I had in my house and what I had to do to clear the alarm. Uh, the next uh, clip I'm just going to put the system on test and you'll hear the loud alarm that comes out of the system when it goes into alarm state. So there's a test button. The alarm has been cleared on this system but there's a test button here and this is what it sounded like when it actually went into alarm. So you're definitely going to hear that. Okay, here's my fancy diagram to describe the C3 septic system that uh, we have here where I live. Now I know I'm going to take some comments about this fancy di diagram, but uh, I'm not a PowerPoint presentation kind of guy. So basically here's here's what we got. Here's the house over here and the sewage pipe going to one of two tanks that uh, we have in this system. Now the first one, the bigger tank, is going to fill up with we'll say liquids and solids. Now over time the solids are going to pile up here and over the years whatever it is they recommend in your area you're going to get uh, somebody in and uh, they're going to drain that tank. Now this other small tank that's on the system I have here, the not solids, the liquids, overflow into this tank and here is a pump and the pump's got a float on it and when the float goes high this pump will kick in. So there's obviously AC power run from the house down here, there's an electrical box down this way that powers this pump. So when the float on the pump goes from hanging down low and the pump is off when the level of the liquids raise that float up the pump comes on and pumps through this pipe out into the septic bed which is a big mound in the back of my property and it has pipes going to distribute the liquids now this, the alarm for this system came on indicating that the pump was unable to drain this tank. So we'll take that from there and go outside and I'll show you what we got out there. I don't know how well this comes out as far as the video goes but this is that elevated pile of sand covered with topsoil that I was discussing that's at the back of my property that has all the piping uh, as far as the septic system goes. Okay, so we're outside at the two tanks that I discussed on the diagram. So if you look down here, this is the larger tank. And I had this off. This was the tank that had the solids. These are the handles. I had to dig down to this, pry these off, and the septic guy come out with his truck and sucked all the sewage out of that. Now, the problem I had was after he did that, I still had my alarm system going on in the house. So, uh, as I indicated, that system comes on if the uh, level in the smaller tank, which is back here, is too high. That's the one that's got the pump with the float on it. So I had dug this hole and got access to to uh, the pump and I'm just going to take this off here. You want to get over there Mace? Get a different vantage point. So this as I say is the smaller tank. Let me just get back there buddy because I got to throw this. This is the smaller tank with the cover on it. Be careful doing this and how you lift this thing, it'll be kind of heavy. So, this tank here is the one with the pump on it. Obviously, you don't want to be wearing good clothes when you're doing this. So, down here is the pump. And when I took this cover off, let's see if you can get your camera there. This is not a pleasant video. I wouldn't watch this one unless you had to. 
So there is the pump down there. I got a big high pressure hose <coughs> power washer and I cleaned this whole tank off here and luckily for me the pump wasn't actually damaged. So I'm just going to show you something here. Mace, if you can get that camera down in there a bit more. So after I what I did you maybe see the idea here is I lift this float, that's the float we discussed, and you might hear the pump come on. So hopefully you can hear that pump running. So in my case I got a little lucky just by using the power washer and spraying that crap and uh, no pun intended debris from around the pump. It's, it's been working fine ever since. So anyway, when I lift that float up, the pump operates. You might even see the level in the tank going down there. Oh, she sucked him too low. Let that down. So that's the idea of that system. And this pipe here is the one I showed in the diagram that the fluids are pumped out to the septic field with. Anyway, that's it for this video.